Welcome to a video that's been put together for the BMAA and Kemble Flying Club. I'm Ben and if you're new to the channel you can see more of my videos by exploring the channel at the end of this video. In this video, Kemble Flying Club CFI David Young will take you through a check flight in a Skyranger Swift 2 according to the BMAA guidelines. For more information, please click bmaa.org. Also visit kembleflyingclub.com for further information. There we are, we're in the Sky Ranger on the permit check flight. We've just started the engine, we're checking the oil pressure is good. It's a little bit high, it's uh, just up near the red line there. Uh, but the engine is cold, so that's what we'd expect. Now the temperatures are good. We're preparing to taxi. So we're going to reduce the power now, release the brake and move forward, we clear all around and we'll check the brake, it is working that's fine, there we go, we're just checking the steering as we come on to the taxiway uh, Campbell traffic, Golf, Golf Romeo Lima Sierra is a Sky Ranger at Woodside 1, one on board taxiing to Golf 3 so we can check our steering here, the rudder control and the instruments, so gentle right rudder and uh, we can see the numbers increasing on the compass slip balls off to the left and you could do this quite slowly and left rudder going in full rudder deflection compass decreasing and the slip ball was off to the right and we can come back on the taxiway just a little bit tight here today with the aircraft so walking pace taxi as normal and um, checking the brake minimum rpm and uh, we can go around towards golf three now the hold for the grass runway which we're going to use Okay, so we're at the hold and uh, we've got to do our normal check. So the power check normally comes uh, first, but we've had a very short taxi, so we'll do the we'll do the control checks first. So we are parked into wind, everything's secure, the brakes on. So left aileron up, right is down, right up, left down, stick back, stick forward, and we've got a tiny bit of movement. Uh, of the nose, so I can check that the uh, the the uh, it's working in the correct sense. Go around the box, that's all good. Flaps, we we'll check the movement. So one stage symmetrical either side. Full flap symmetrical either side. That's fine. And we're going to go one stage of flap or back to neutral. Then that's good. Uh, trim, we're happy with. So trim back and forward. Trim set in the neutral position. Can be a final touch and go zero. Right. Okay, next week recheck that the fuel tap is on and sufficient we've got about 42 litres today so put a bit of extra fuel in a bit more than normal because we're solo flight instruments set i've already checked the altimeter but i'll do it again so i'll just swing that either side of zero and then back to zero to check the qfe which is 1011 which i've written down on my sheet here so we're going to do safety check the harness is all secure loose items stowed i'm happy with that uh, doors, so latched, latched, latched at the back, latched at the front, down here, all checked, that's good, and we can go back to the power check now, so we're going to increase the power, get the engine running smoothly, around about 3000, that's lovely, okay, so we'll just let this temperature come up a tiny bit, So some people do their mag check at 3,000. The Rotax book actually says do the mag check at 4,000 RPM, which is what I normally do. We've got good brakes on this aircraft. It's not an issue. We're clear. We're clear all around. We're clear behind. Sure report climbing away. And um, this is the first check on the permit form is the static RPM. So we're, we're not only going to go up to 4,000 to do our mag check. So there's 4,000. We'll do the mag check. And drop. About 100 RPM. Back drop, about 100 again and back, that's good, again checking we're clear, so we want to do the static RPM check now, so firmly holding the brakes, see what we can get, about 4,900 4, RPM there and back to idle, recheck the brake, uh, that's fine, so we can write that down, uh, so we'll leave that for the moment, so max static, 4,000 900 RPM ground run satisfactory. Okay, so we can move on to takeoff. So uh, we'll put all that down there. 
have a good look out and make a call. So, uh, Kemble traffic, Golf, Golf Romeo Lima Sierra's at Golf 3 and lining up 08 Graph. So we're just going to turn and look into the approach just to make sure there is nothing on the approach there. That's good. All clear. And a beautiful day today for this. So we've made our short backtrack. We're lined up. So we're going to check uh, a ball point. Well, if we're not airborne by the opposite the control tower, we've got something wrong. And that's fine. So what do we do? Campbell traffic, Golf, Golf, Romeo, Lima, Sierra taking off 08. So we've got stick neutral, a little bit of power, a bit of right rudder. OK, smoothly on the full power. Airspeed is active, RPM. Double traffic, Golf, Romeo, Lima, Sierra is making a left oh. turn out. So we've taken off uh, clean today, no flat, because uh, traffic not got off gusty old wind there. So uh, going up at uh, 16, 1700 feet a minute here at the moment, at about 80, 80 indicated miles an hour. The indicated airspeed is a little bit higher than the actual airspeed on this aircraft. Okay, so we'll back the power off a little bit. And we'll prepare to level out at, um, so let's reduce the climb rate, and we're now we're level at 1,000 feet, so attitude, reduce the power. Okay, so right-hand circuit here off 08, so we'll look out, we'll look see, we'll go off to the right. I'll just check the trim a little bit. There we are, so takeoff was uh, absolutely normal for this aircraft need to use quite a bit uh, of uh, right rudder, the 100 horsepower engine. So the next the next test is the best best climb, which is handy because that'll give us some altitude. Best climb speed on this is 73. So uh, that's what we're going to be aiming for. Our start height is probably going to be around about um, uh, about 2,500 feet on the QNH. And uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, there we go. So power, attitude, hold, golf echo Sierra, a uh, downwind. So we're nicely in balance. We want to get to 73. It's about right. There we go. And we'll hit the watch, just get the trip sorted out. We're going to go for 3,000 feet. So, make sure we've got that 73. That's about right. Okay, and hit the watch. Watch has started. Recheck the speed, recheck the balance. I'm a bit fast at the moment. Come on. Not a lot of divisions on this. There we are, it's about 73. Nice and steady, 73. The VSI is indicating 1,300 foot a minute climb rate, which is probably about right at this altitude. Good look out, clear all around. In balance, 73. Temperatures and pressures in the climb. Check it, coming up a little bit. And there's 900 feet. And we can ready to hit the watch. And stop. There we go. So, just have a quick look. And we've got about 47 seconds, I think. So we're going to lower the nose. Choose the power. So, good look out around. And this is much easier when you've got to do this dual. We're in our, in our, we're in lockdown. So we're doing this flight solo. So start height was 3,000 feet. Time to climb was 45, 6, 7, 47 seconds. Work out the rate of climb uh, Gold later. Gold Sierra, final touch and go, 08. So the climb rate was satisfactory. I'll calculate that after the flight. So now we're going to look at the trim control. So we are, uh, what are we now, 4,000 RPM. So we're hands and feet off, all nice and steady. Going to the left a little bit. So 
Um, it could be to do with the roll trim. Just treat that a little bit more. So there we are, 4,000 RPM. Traffic, 2,300 feet. Ball's in the middle. So we've got ball in the middle, steady speed, steady height, that's all good. All right, let's see what the trim feels right. So good look out around. Uh, height's OK, so stick back, nice and steady. Nose comes up, airspeed's decaying, we go into a climb and let go and the nose comes down she's going off to the left a little bit and that's fine uh, we'll back to normal again so that all seemed to be good and we'll push stick forward look out behind but sorry below so stick forward airspeed increasing ASPO is going down so instrument function is important part of this check and then she was going to the right a little bit there and she's recovered quite nicely okay so if we reduce the power a little bit, and uh, watch the speed there. Let's see what the trim itself lever feels like. So there we are. So that's so that's fully rear trim on this aircraft. So that's all that. We'll go down a little bit. There we go. So put a bit more power on. So that all feels good. We've still got plenty of control there. That's good. All right. So let's move the trim forward. So pick up the power, pick up the speed. We're back to 2,000 feet. Airspace is good. We know exactly where we are. OK. So as the speed comes up, we can see that we can trim adequately. So that's fine. So we're doing now, we've got about 4,600 RPM. Nice and steady, a little bit more forward trim. So I'm happy happy with that. If we push the trim hard forward, it will pitch down a lot and take some resistance to recover. So, but that's all right. Okay, so pitch trim, I'm quite happy with that. Let's look at uh, roll. So uh, get back to a sensible cruise speed. Height's coming back, just lost a little bit. There we go. Traffic. All right, so I'll go to the left, look out, scan around. Okay, so there's the roll and a bit of adverse yaw going in, so that, that's normal for this aircraft, most aircraft, and we'll roll the other way, stick to the right, yaw to the left, round she comes into the turn, that's fine. So the basic roll control function uh, seems absolutely fine. We've got a, roll t a trimmer on here, so we'll just take the trim completely off and see what happens. So the trim on this aircraft is she's going left, okay, which is what we pretty much expect. Let's put full trim the other way, see what happens. And yeah, there we go, so the aeroplane's rolling slowly to the right now. With that little trimmer, it's up here on this aeroplane, I don't know if you can see it. So there we go, so we want to relax that with my weight somewhere back in the middle there, so that we're flying straight. Let's have a little look at uh, uh, the yaw. So uh, we'll look around and we'll put left rudder in now. And the yaw and we bank. And we'll control that, that's fine. So we'll try to the right and right rudder. So there's the yaw and then the upper wind coming over and pitching down, which is what we'd expect as the aeroplane banks up. It separates these out uh, slightly differently to the sequence I've done it in, but I'm quite happy with all that. So we're into turns next. So remember, this is a check flight. It's not a test flight. So we're only doing normal manoeuvres in the aeroplane. We're not doing anything exceptional. We're just doing normal manoeuvres. I've lost 200 feet. And we need to come away into better airspace here. So I've been going into wind, but the, the wind is, is relatively light. We'll just come around here again. So so turn. So we're going to go to the left. So we look out left, check it's all clear. Look out right and behind there. That's all good. We'll look out left again. That's, uh, that's great. So stick and rudder to the left. Tiny bit of extra power. There's 15 degrees of bank. We'll go straight to 30 degrees of bank. A little bit more power, ball in the middle, level, so we'll go up to 45 degrees of bank, a little bit more power. Rate, rate of turn increases now, so you can see the nose coming around the horizon, 
we're pretty much level pretty much in balance and we'll go up to 60 degrees so up to and just another 10 degrees so about 55 there's the rate of turn increasing terrifically as we go around at around about 60 degrees a bank and we'll roll out stick and rudder and reduce the power that all felt lovely what a delightful little aeroplane this Sky Ranger is so we'll now go to the right so we look out to the right seems to be clear airspace is good look out left behind us under the wing there nothing up there and um, little aileron lift the wing there okay so we'll go to the right now 2,000 feet we're level stick a rudder into the turn a little bit more rudder required going into the right turn there's 15 degrees we've got up to 30 there we are a little bit more rudder than stick required going this way we're pretty much level that's nice and steady it's not getting any worse I could trim back a tiny bit take my hands off there we are it's going around nicely still needs a little bit of back pressure to hold the nose up that's fine ok we'll increase the power go up to 45 ok try and keep the speed a bit under control very easy with this aeroplane to put too much power on so there's about 45 nice and steady rate of turns good need a little bit more rudder to keep the ball in the middle alright we've we'll got up a bit more now there's the uh, the rate of the turn increasing at 60 degrees of bank nose coming around the horizon just climbing a little bit that all felt lovely rolling out good look out for traffic that's great centralise the controls so the handling in the turn all seemed absolutely fine to me and um, that's all it says on the checklist so 60 degrees was the maximum bank angle on this aeroplane uh, left and right hand turns all satisfactory that's good side slip so we've got left aileron and right rudder so we're going to go left aileron and right rudder and we're just going to steady heading this is supposed to be offset the controls even more so we're still pretty much level we're still heading straight up the motorway ahead there there's quite a side slip on there starting to lose height now as well with the inefficiency of the aeroplane back into control that's all fine and uh, we'll now go right aileron and left rudder okay so uh, good look out again airspace is good we know where we are clear of all controlled airspace so right aileron left rudder a little bit more power to overcome the extra drag I mean that's, that's a ridiculous side slip now already there we are that's all fine controls all feel that they're doing what they should which is all we're doing we're checking over the inspector's gone through the aeroplane checked all the controls everything appears to be working from an engineering point of view and we're just substantiating that by checking the controls in the air that everything's satisfactory let's start heading back towards Kemble now okay so stalls so we'll move a maneuver around back so we're heading back towards Campbell 2,000 feet we need to get a bit more altitude so clear all around airspace is good into the climb ok so hazel check height is sufficient to recover by 2,000 feet uh, airframe all clean trimmed happy with that security unchecked doors all shut and locked nothing loose in the cockpit put my phone away there we go Uh, security, so we check that. Uh, engine temperature and pressure is all good. Location, ABC, clear of controlled airspace, built up areas and cloud. That's all fine. And then look out, clearing turn. So we'll go to the left. All looks good left. And right, and look left again. And enter the turn to the left. So we'll do 90 degrees. I've got a reference point on the ground. So some people do 90-90, but I'm in the left seat of this aeroplane. So I'm going to do a 90 and then a 180. OK, we'll roll out and we'll look under the wing there, behind and below. All looks good. So we're back onto heading for Kemble. We're outside the ATZ. Flaps up, all clean. So we've done the checks, we're straight into it. We'll ease the power off. So stick back. We've got positive pressure on the stick. It's going quiet. Airspeed's decaying, 45, 40... 30, 
five, left wing drops, stick fully back, buff it, and nothing else happening, that's all pretty good, stick forward, and a little bit of power will recover, gently look out, back into the climb, so we'll recover the height lost, so I'm just going to do that again, because I want to check that I wasn't pulling the stick towards me, uh, forcing the, the left wing drop, so power off, so as the power comes off, you need a little bit, a little bit of left rudder to keep the ball in the middle. Stick coming back, stick coming back, stick neutral, fingertips on the stick. There's the stick back. So that, yeah, not quite so marked. If I hold it in the stall condition, we're starting to get a big rate of descent, and it's, it's wanting to tighten the turn. Stick forward, add the power. That's fine. And recover the height loss. Look out. Airspace is good. Just near Malmesbury now. Level out again. So that was, as predicted, pretty much 35 clean at this weight, of course. So we could go over to the next page. OK, good look out. Uh, we'll ease the power off a little bit. And we'll check we're in the white arc speed and we'll go for one stage of flap. A little bit of trim adjustment. OK. Let's see what happens now. So a little bit of left rudder going in, keep the aircraft straight as the slipstream reduces. Stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. And that was at 22 indicated airspeed. So uh, there we go, that's what it said. So we're going to go for full flat now. Same characteristic, left wing going. Got a full flat, white arc, full flat, just migrated a little bit close to Malmesbury. Let's just get away from Malmesbury. Clear of Malmesbury. Let's just have another little look. Flying a bit more slowly now because I've got full flap on. So let's see what happens when we take the power off now. Okay, so we're nicely in balance. Stick back. 40, 35, just about 24, 30 indicated and recover nicely. So that was all fine. Power on. Doesn't actually say on the check pilot form that we should check. Uh, stalled in the climb, but we'll just do a modest one. So I'm now putting right rudder in to get the aeroplane straight. And 20, what was that about? It was uh, just below 20 miles an hour with that with that power on, and that was only 4,000 RPM. Let's have a good look out. So all those characteristics seems pretty good. Let the let the flap off again now. Let the aeroplane recover itself. So. Full flap. It was about 25, wasn't it? Handling was all fantastic. Instrument systems. So all the instruments have been functioning exactly flaps as we would expect it. Okay, right. Well, so we're going to do the uh, the VNE check now. So we're at a nice altitude, 4,200 feet on the QNH, and uh, we're just going to have a good look out again and. Uh, just look through that top window. We've got no traffic around there. Traffic in the uh, lined up uh, zero eight, taking off. That's fine. What a fantastic day. So we are ready to go. We're all secure. That's fine. And we're going to start by increasing the speed of the aeroplane. So increase the power. Hold the attitude. So there's a hundred. We can re-trim for that. Check we're happy. It was 110. So this is the indicated airspeed. So the the, uh, the calibrated airspeed at this sort of speed, 110, there is about 80 knots. Okay, so we're aiming for 150. RPM is 5,000. So let's go smoothly onto maximum power, holding the attitude, allowing the aeroplane to accelerate. We've got 5,400 RPM. Four and a half thousand feet. We're just about pretty much in balance, climbing a little bit. 120 indicated. So now I'm going to ease the stick forward. Good look out. Airspeed increasing. RPM is increasing, but below the red line. There we go. And full power. In balance. Coming up to 140. RPM is below the red line, 145, bit of a dive now, going down at nearly 1,500 feet a minute, just coming up to the red line, and that's fine.
There we go, and we can recover, so that's great. So we didn't exceed the red line, we just came up to the red line on the, on the RPM, and we're back to normal flight. So that's great, nothing fell off, we're laughing. Speed achieved was 150, look out for traffic. There we go, high speed flight satisfactory, it was approach and landing. So we'll do a classic overhead join here. So we're going to run through the middle of the airfield. Look out for traffic. Check the signal square, which uh, actually isn't used at Kemble. We've got to fit in with other traffic. We know it's 08. It's a right-hand circuit here. So looking out at the same level for other traffic joining. So there we're approaching the overhead. 95 miles an hour indicated, which is about 74 knots. Golf, golf, Romeo, Lima, Sierra's overhead. So look out, with that wing, and right hand circuit, right hand turn. So, we'll just um, watching that height. So, right-hand turn to position to dead, joint dead side. So, nice and steady through the overhead. Winds change direction now. It's a little bit more from the south. Okay, so maintaining 2,000 feet. We're coming back towards the numbers. No sign of any other traffic. We're coming back over the 08 numbers here. and we can make a call. Campbell traffic, golf, golf, Romeo. Okay, so we've got a nice steady descent. We don't have to go miles away from the airfield, although joining uh, at different airfields, you can uh, should abide by any noise abatement instructions, of course. So we're descending nicely. And we're looking for a 1,000 feet, which is the circuit height here at Campbell. So we're going to join crosswind, just upwind of the tower. So we're not going to join at the end of the runway, we want to be a little bit more central, so anything, any aircraft taking off will take off underneath us, so there we are, 1,000 feet, crosswind, there we go, no sign of any other traffic, we're in a nice position here to turn downwind, just popped a, up a little bit high in the thermal, so a nice steady turn, downwind, good look out for traffic. Okay, so beginning of the downwind leg, all nicely nicely trimmed, so trim, quite happy with that. Wind is light, slightly across the runway, we're all clear on the dead side, the runway, the circuit ahead and around us. Security, I will check, fuel is sufficient to go around, undercarriage is down, brakes are off, and uh, note the gauges, temperatures all look all look good. So, um, just picking up some thermals here, just giving me a bit of extra height, which is not very good. But there we are, just above a thousand feet, all clear. So, looking back towards the runway, I've got a good angle, and uh, we'll just turn on to base leg. Just the top end of the wide arc there at the moment. Coming around onto base leg, looking out onto final approach, can't see anybody there, not heard anything, easing the power off into a nice descent, steady speed, 80 miles an hour indicated, that's lovely, white arc speed, one stage of work, and trip. Golf Golf Romeo, Lima Sierra, it's final for zero 08 grass. Okay, so we're nicely on the approach, the speed speed's good. All nicely in trip, we'll go for full flat now. And uh, there we go. So the approach is looking good, looking a third of the way into the runway. That's lovely. There we are. Okay. Just hold off gently. 
Uh, hopefully kiss the ground nicely at minimum speed. There we are on full flat. Camel traffic, golf, golf, Romeo, leave the CO, backtracking 08 grass. Okay, we're coming off the runway now, so we've checked that the flaps are off uh, on this aircraft. The trim we've left in neutral. There's no transponder on this aircraft to turn off. Okay, we're back on the main taxiway now. Nice sensible speed, several aeroplanes parked around here. And uh, we can head back to the hangar for our shutdown. And um, a big thanks to uh, Ben today for uh, putting the cameras in here so we could record the uh, uh, check flight, which uh, is uh, principally done, been done for the British Microlight Aircraft Association as a demonstration of, uh, uh, of uh, doing a check flight in a three-axis aircraft. Approaching the hangar now, so very cautious with the speed. RPM is just that little bit higher than I'd like on this aircraft, so we can uh, we can get that adjusted. Otherwise, she's all fine. That's great. So thank you all very much for watching um, this flight uh, with uh, with me, David Young from Kemble Flying Club. Don't forget to complete the paperwork correctly at the end of your flight, which is all part of a successful check flight. So, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to explore the videos that are on screen now, and you can subscribe by clicking here.